Hey guys, and welcome all Disciples Digging Deep viewers from home. Um, this week is the lesson for September 30th, and um, we're going to be learning about the time that Jesus resisted temptation. But first, just a really quick announcement. On Sunday, October 4th, right after church, um, in the Family Life Center, we'll be having a meeting to discuss our fall and winter children's activities. Um, so, fall festival, harvest festival, and... Um, our night in Bethlehem and Christmas party, children's program, that kind of stuff. Um, I have some ideas of my own, but um, this is a meeting for anyone who wants their input for how to go about doing our regular activities um, with COVID and all that's going on with that. Um, so if you're interested in, in letting your voice be heard, please um, be at that meeting on Sunday after immediately after church. Which, by the way, now starts at 9.30 with one service. So, um, just uh, be there right after church in the Family Life Center. And, um, yep, so I'll see you guys there. Any, uh, oh, and if you can't make it in person, um, feel free to just text me any questions or concerns. And um, I, I'm going to try to have it on Facebook Live, so... Um, if that works out, we'll we'll do it like that too. So, um, I want to hear your voices. So please let me know what you think about um, our normal activities for this time of year. Okay, so let's get started. Through God, I will overcome. Through God, I will overcome. That's part of our song, isn't it? Today we're going to talk about how Jesus overcame through God. So. Our story is about a time when Jesus was in a hard situation, but through God, he overcame. That just means that Jesus was able to beat the devil and win when Satan tried to trick him into sinning. Does Jesus sin? No, he does not. Jesus has never, ever, ever sinned. Jesus has never sinned. Nope. Jesus is God's son, so that proves that he's never sinned. But in our story today, Satan tries to trick Jesus into sinning against God. That was bad, but God is good. So tonight, we're going to learn that through God, I will overcome. Through God, I will overcome. Don't forget to practice your song. That's another uh, little announcement is we are going to perform our song on October 25th, the last Sunday in October. So keep practicing those songs at home, okay? All right. So, before we get started with our Bible story, I want to show you something that I found in my driveway. It's very special. This is a bread rock. It's a rock that will magically make bread. Okay, I want to show you. First of all, first you have to shake it. And, oh, oh it didn't work. Hmm. Maybe I have to squeeze it. <sighs> Still no bread. What in the world? Well, I'm going to put it in this cup. And um, we'll check on it and see if bread has been made after I tell the story. Okay? Okay. So... Our story today comes from Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Ready? Put those listening ears on. Focus. And let's go. God's Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. He did not eat anything during those days, so he was hungry. After 40 days of prayer and fasting, which means he didn't eat any food, the devil came to Jesus he knew Jesus was hungry, so he said, If you are really the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus did not give in to the temptation. He said, It is written, Man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil tempted Jesus again by taking him to the top of the temple in Jerusalem. The devil said, If you are really the Son of God, 
Jump off this temple and trust God to protect you. The scriptures say that God will send angels to protect you. But Jesus did not give in to the temptation. He answered with more words from scripture. Jesus said, It is also written, Do not test the Lord your God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a high mountain, and he showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. The devil said, I will give you all these kingdoms if you worship me. Jesus said, Go away, Satan! It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. The devil left, and immediately the angels came to Jesus and cared for him. That came from Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. So, I just want to show you guys, my rock is not a special bread rock. It's just a rock that is part of the gravel driveway from my, from my house. So, I tried to trick you, but it didn't work, did it? This is bread. I got it. I didn't make it out of a rock. I got it straight from a King Swine bag. <laughs> but the angels, they took care of Jesus. So if you're at home, I want you to get a rock and put it somewhere where you'll remember that um, God did not sin, even though he was tempted and really hungry. Um, because, you know, Jesus could have, I'm sorry, Jesus did not sin. Jesus could have made those rocks into bread. And the devil knew that. But Jesus knew that that wasn't the right thing to do. And since Jesus didn't make rocks into bread, and since he didn't jump off of the temple, and since he didn't bow down and worship Satan when he was at the top of the mountain, the angels came and they cared for him. I kind of imagine that looking like them bringing him a piece of bread. So if you're at home right now, Take a minute to eat a piece of bread. Okay, I took a bigger bite than I thought I would. <laughs> So what you need for our next activity is a paper plate and some markers, or if you don't have paper plate and markers, get a piece of paper and a regular sized plate and, um, you know, like colored pencils, crayons, or even like a regular pencil, a pen, anything to write with. What I did was I took my daughter's plate and I traced it on a piece of paper and I made a makeshift plate for, ah. For our New Testament wheel. It's now time, now that we're talking about Jesus, to learn the books of the New Testament. So this week, you're going to learn a lot of books, like more than half of the New Testament. It's not going to be difficult, though. You can do it. We're going to do it together. You guys are going to learn the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Very brief history. Acts. Acts. And all of Paul's letters. So they go. Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. I accidentally drew a line right there. Sorry. 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. I say Philemon, you can say Philemon, however you want to pronounce that one, go, you know, you go for it. But let's go through them all together from Matthew to Philemon. Ready? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st Thessalonians, oh, I'm so bad at this, 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Okay, do y'all see all that? That's so many. Oh, it's half the plate, at least. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I can't get it so that y'all can see it all. Okay, there we go. So, don't forget, once you learn 
Once you remember which book comes next, you oops, I went backwards. Once you remember which book comes next, you can fold your tabs down and just really practice on learning Matthew through Philemon, okay? So you're learning the Gospels, the history, which is Acts, and all of Paul's letters. These are the letters that um, the Apostle Paul wrote, okay? All right. Um, just one final thing. Um, for our activity this week, we talked about um, Bibles and how people need to read their Bibles so they can know what's good and what God wants us to do and what's bad and what the devil wants us to do and um, carry that around with us so that we can know to always choose the good thing and not the bad thing. Um, so, But I want you guys to do at home is I want you as a family to pick a passage. I don't want you to pick a passage that you know. Like, Don't pick Genesis 1-1 and um, write down, well, it means in the beginning everything started. That's kind of too easy, don't you think? But pick a passage, any passage in the Bible, make it make it random, you know, flip to a random page. Pick a passage, and adults, you may have to do all the reading if your kids are a little bit younger. But um, read just a short couple of verses or like a story in the Bible. And I want you guys, as a family, to write down your own version of that story. So, like, write it down in your own words. So... For example, if I were to do um, Genesis 1 and I was going to, if I were to put the creation story in my own words, I would probably say God made a whole bunch of stuff and it was good. You know? Um, so it doesn't have to be super long. It doesn't have to be super hard. But I just want to challenge you guys to write your own version of the story as a family and feel free to send it to me because I would love to read it and I would love to post it on um, on my page for everybody to see. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget about our meeting on Sunday. And um, if you can't make it in person, I'll really try to put it on Facebook Live. Um, if I don't put it on Facebook Live, I will post like um, a typed out version of like highlights and the notes um, and what we kind of decided as a group and then also don't forget to put on your calendars October 25th the last Sunday in October we're going to perform our song my God is powerful so keep practicing all right have a good week see you Sunday